OpenAI officially hitting a $500 billion valuation amid a flurry of new product and deal announcements today, including the launch of its AI video app, Sora, which is already facing some backlash online. For that, we'll turn to Mackenzie Sagalos in today's Tech Check. Hi, Mac. Hey, Carl. So OpenAI has a habit of releasing new products the moment a rival moves, and this week it is video. On Tuesday, the company unveiled Sora 2, along with its first video generation app, a TikTok-style feed where users can create short clips using text or image prompts. Now, it is a crowded... So, hey, everyone. It's Karev. Today, we are talking about the big controversies around OpenAI. So, what actually happened? Why people are so up upset with OpenAI and what it might means for all of us? So, now, let's dive into it. So OpenAI is a company that built cutting edge AI artificial intelligence, things like chatbot, image generation, video generation tools, basically ChatGPT. Recently, they just launched a tool called Sora 2. This is an app where you can type in text and system create a short video based on it. That sounds cool, but it also sparked a lot of backlash, meaning many people are upset. For example, Hollywood talent agencies, CAA, the creative artist agencies, and said Sora 2 possess risks to creator rights. Actor, director, musician says their voice face might be used without their consent. So also there were concerns raised by news outlets like CNBC that Sora is producing video with recognizable character brand IPs and their open AI's policy might leave them legally exposed. So eventually amazing technology but big concerns around how it's used. So who control it, who get paid and what happen if things go wrong. So let me break down the major but the new version worries, is like going why people are viral. worried about. Thanks to deep so there are copyrights and ownership. If you create a video, write a song, act in a Sam film, Altman that's your world. GPUs. People Others say if Sora uses something like that without permission, in. that's not fair. Example, video using Crackton from Ricky and Morty or South Park popped up that ring alarm bell for lawyers. So if open source tools uses something else stuff without paying or asking, that's a big issue. So the second main issue is likeness, voice and identity. Imagine someone use your face or voice just like Sam Altman was there in the deepfake videos with Sora and other generative tools that possibility becomes much easier that isn't science fiction anymore so defects and trust videos are also there people videos that look very real but are fake if you can create convincing fake videos you might spread false info also misuse someone's image or cause harm open ai acknowledge some of their risk when announcing sora so what actually OpenAI is doing? OpenAI responds by, by saying they will build more control of for right holder, give creator more gradual control over how their character likeness voice are used. They have limited some functionalities. For example, Sora initially limited videos of real humans to a small group while they tested it. So they actually point to freedom and creativity side. Yes, there are risks, but there are also big of upsides like making video more accessible and creative inventors and supporters like billionaires and defend the tools saying criticize are being narrow-minded so the real life examples and scenari uh, scenarios are like right now imagine you're a small filmmaker with sora you type a futuristic city uh, at dusk two robot dancing under neon lights booming boom you will get the video that's the upside creative power now imagine you are a celebrity actor. You woke up and see an online video of you doing something you never did. Voice over you never recorded in a brand ad you never proved. That's the risk. Or imagining you're, uh, you're as a songwriter. Sudden a video uses your melody in the background and you didn't give permission. You're not paid. That's a copyright headache. These kinds of scenarios are exactly what people raising the alarm are worried about. Have to opt out. Uh, so they've done that with other iterations of, of uh, these image generation tools, but that is key here. So the reason that Sam Altman's likeness was used in that video is because he opted into the system. And they say there are these safeguards around explicit content. So you can't use his image to do certain things, but shoplifting wasn't on that list. Huh, that is very, very interesting point that you make there, that he opted in for his image to be used, but maybe not under all circumstances, but that one slipped through. Wow, great stuff, Mackenzie. Thank you so much. I always learn so much when you're on. Appreciate it.
So platform like CNBC is cover business, finance and tech. They see that it is not a uh, not a small issue. It's a gig issue, but one with real economy, legal and regularity implication. For example, if open air and similar films are exposed to lawsuit, so copyright deep fake misuse that can hit their business model, share value and reputation. Governments step in regulations may happen. That means new rules for what AI can do and can't do, which affects everyone. Also, jobs and industry descriptions. These tools may change how video music ads are made. This big business stuff. So CNBC's interest, big tech plus big money plus big risk equals to news. So if you are a creator, a video editor, filmmaker or a musician, you will want to stay aware of your right. If your work can be used by AI tools, ask who controls it, who get paid. If you are a consumer user, you will want to be curious, be aware of deep fake and ask is this real, who made this, what rights are involved. So for student and big uh, big people who are working in AI and ML. This is the space with huge opportunity, but also big ethical and legal challenges are waiting for you. Understand them early is a smart move right now. So we will likely see new policies for open AI and competitor, more lawsuits, legal cases, possible government regulations, more tools that balance creativity plus control. These technologies isn't just going away, but how society handle is, it will matters a lot. So w watch this space, stay informed. If you are a uh, creator, consider how you handle rights and concepts and ethics. So thanks for watching. If you find this useful, like, share and subscribe. See you next time.